when we think about what it means to be a disciple, there's lots of qualifications, lots of criteria. We think this is what the definition of a disciple is. But I'm going to bring one to your attention this morning that maybe you haven't thought of. And that is found in John chapter 19, verses 26 and 27. As Jesus is hanging there on the cross, he looks down at his disciple John, who's standing beside his mother, and this is what he says. When Jesus saw his mother and his disciple, whom he loved, standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. And he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Here we see that one of the things Jesus asked of his disciples was, Take care of my family. We are part of the family of God. We are part of God's family. And that means that as his disciples, we need to take care of each other. James chapter 1 verse 27 puts it this way. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. I think that it's pretty clear here, widows and orphans, these are both people groups that are identified by missing family members, either missing parents, missing spouses. Who are the people in your community that are missing family members? Maybe they're missing parents, maybe they're missing spouses, maybe they're missing children, maybe they're missing siblings, maybe they're missing grandchildren. This is an excellent way to teach discipleship in your home, is to reach out and bring others into your family. Let them know they are loved. Let them know they are part of the body of Christ. This can be through helping around their house by shoveling their drive or raking leaves, but it can also be by sitting down and listening to stories. It can be by sharing a meal. It is just letting them be a part of your family, because after all, you're part of his family.